Hi, I'm Jenny Taylor Martin, a director here at Edgar Casey's ARE. Today I'm speaking with Elaine Haruska. She's a therapist at the ARE Health Spa, and she's written the book Your Key to Good Health Unlocking the Power of Your Lymphatic System. Elaine, your book describes the Casey approach to the lymphatic system and its overall effect on health. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience with the Casey readings? Well, being in the Casey Search for God group, it was after a while, you do learn about the health readings. Uh, things like castor oil packs, the, the importance of getting spinal adjustments, getting massages. All these things were, were new to me. And um, I had started practicing castor oil packs, started doing things like buying glycothymoline and working with that, which was a product, not a Casey product, but it was on the market when Casey was giving readings and how good it was for alkalizing the system. So these were sort of my introduction to the health readings of Casey. You're currently a therapist in the ARE Health Center and Spa. How did you get trained for that? Well, when I came here in 1974, as I said, I had all already had my first massage, my first colonic, uh, my first chiropractic adjustment, and I started putting it more into practice, doing um, uh, castor oil packs and eating properly and, and all that. Uh, but uh, I took a class in massage that Ray Cullis gave, and he was a therapist here. He had been trained by Dr. Riley. Now, Dr. Riley trained all the therapists who worked here at that time, and if you wanted to work as a therapist, you had to be personally trained by him. So everybody is on the same wavelength. We're all doing this, this similar uh, uh, technique. And because I had been receiving massages for several years, uh, it was very e easy for me to learn in a sense because I had been receiving it first. So Dr. Riley, I wrote to Dr. Riley, I told him I would like to help out in the therapy department. I was already working in the editorial department, but I could help out. And I knew that sometimes we, uh, we needed people. People would come at the last minute and want a massage and we, they couldn't have one because all the other therapists were busy. Well, I was on staff here. I could just come in and do the massage and then go back and do editorial work. So I wrote to him and he agreed to train me. And so I went to New Jersey for two weeks and got my lessons in massage. At that time, there were, was no educational criterion for massage. Uh, you just pretty much could do the technique. But uh, some other massage therapists and I went to Tidewater Community College and took anatomy and physiology so we could get more of a foundational scientific background for what we were doing. But pretty much that was not necessary here at that time. Uh, now we have a school. We opened the school in 1987, and we have a 700-hour program plus a 1,000-hour program. So now we are instructing people in the Casey Riley technique, we call it. And you also do lymph massage at the spa? The massage that we do is called manual lymph drainage, or MLD for short. And they really don't like us to call it a massage technique because it's really a drainage. Uh, massage, uh, according to some studies they had done in Europe, actually will move lymph. It'll move the blood and the lymph. But this, uh, if, some, if a limb is swollen, uh, it is not supposed to be massaged, and so the manual lymph drainage technique would be better for this. And it is very light, and it's a certain type of movement, uh, kind of a rotary motion, that will actually help drain the fluid that's in between the tissues. It's like, it's like a flood. The, the, the area is flooded. The, the, the area has overflowed its banks. It's not in the vessels. It's extended beyond the vessels. So the tissues are waterlogged. And so this particular drainage technique helps unplug, unplug that area. It kind of helps flow, uh, move the area to a, a, a different place where it can be gathered or collected back into the vessels. And this will reduce the, um, they have done studies, I mean, where you can tape, can uh, measure, tape measure the, the limb, and after a particular treatment, after a series of treatments usually, the fluid is reduced. It's a long process and it takes a lot of time, but, um, but it's, it's very effective for keeping the limb flowing. What exactly is the lymph system and what does it do? 
Yeah, that's a, that's a question that a lot of people, when they come to ARE and they may come up to the spa here and get it, what we call manual lymph drainage, uh, they'll ask, well, what is the lymph? People have heard the lymph, the, they've heard the word before, but they're not really clear about what uh, its purpose is. So I just simply tell them that the lymphatic system, a simple way of saying it is it's our garbage disposal system. And it is, uh, it's fluid. It's sometimes called an accessory to the blood. So we have a circulatory system but most of the time when we hear the word circulatory system, we think blood. But Casey, a lot of times in his readings, would emphasize it's also the lymph. So the blood and the lymph are both fluid. They're both a part of the circulatory system. Uh, the lymph, though, its primary purpose is to collect toxins, waste products that the cells excrete. And, and they, they're vessels, just like there are blood vessels, but they're lymphatic vessels. They carry these fluids to and return them actually to the blood, and the blood takes care of it from then on. The blood will carry those toxins to the excretory organs, the lungs, the kidneys, um, the intestines, for to be excreted from the body. But uh, it, is, it has to be um, collected first. And you know, Casey was very big on, on the toxins and the waste products that really he felt like created a lot of, um, well, sickness and, and Ill, illness and um, even fatigue, just people not feeling good and not having a real good reason why. They just don't, they feel fatigued, they feel achy. I was amazed when I started looking at the, um, the different times that the word lymph is used in the Casey readings. And there were so many times when people would ask Casey, what is causing the pain in my left knee? Or why is my right hip bothering me? What's, what's the problem here? And he would say, poor lymph circulation. And one time he said, the person asked, he just said, circulation is poor. And she said, what do you mean by circulation? He said, lymph circulation. So I would be thinking blood. I, I need to get my, I need maybe to get a couple of massages or or do some hot or cold packs in that area to get the blood circulating. But he was saying lymph. What remedies did the Casey readings recommend for the lymph system? Uh, castor oil packs. He periodically, a number of times on occasions, said these particular packs move lymph. So importance is to keep the lymph flowing, to keep, so as I said, like a stagnant river, it, it, it's, uh, it becomes poisonous over time or detoxing. So the, the lymph is important to be kept moving. And the castor oil packs will do it, also massage will do it, colonics will do it. It's just a lot of things in his readings to keep uh, the body in balance will, will help the lymph flowing. Uh, heat. Uh, applying heat or, uh, to an area also, if it's not contraindicated, if it's a swollen area, uh, then you wouldn't want to apply heat. But in certain areas, heat helps. But a heat can also be in the form of uh, steam baths, uh, Epsom salts baths. That also helps the lymph flow. All of these things are covered in your book? Yes, I do. Uh, I put one chapter uh, for all these applications, and I divided them into external applications and internal applications. So the, and, and some of these are very uh, ubiquitous about in the readings. They're, they're, they're common things. The, the, the spinal adjustments, the colonics, the massages are repeated over and over again in these readings. But then occasionally there's other things that Casey mentioned too. Probably the internal application, the most often, was olive oil taken internally and also saffron tea. A saffron tea is, is, is American saffron. It's a good digestive aid, an herbal digestive aid. But Casey recommended that quite frequently as an aid to a lymph, and he specifically mentioned the lymph. And also with olive oil. Now he, uh, some people can't stand the taste of it, but if you take just a, he just was talking about just a, maybe a half a teaspoon or a fourth of a teaspoon uh, several times a day. And that was also good for the lymph drainage. Keeps the lymph flowing. Elaine, it's been a pleasure to have you here today. Well, thank you very much for having me. 
Your Key to Good Health, Unlocking the Power of Your Lymphatic System is published by ARE Press and available at arecatalog.com.